Snorlax, use fly. Hi everybody, this is CVGS, I'm Zakapti here and today we are recapping the news for week 6 of the Vanguard livestream for Overdress and our collective like thoughts on them. So, we got two deck gimmicks this week with the reveal of Keter Sanctuary and Stoikea and boy do they have a lot of interesting stuff revealed. We got an answer to why Keter Sanctuary has 16 great trees in the deck and that's because of the write-ups that you'll do with the deck. Knight of Heavenly Sword fought skill when this unit is rolled upon by Knight of Heavenly Spear Rooks by revealing two great trees in your hand, you can reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a unique card, you can call it to the regard circle, if not, put it in the drop zone. On top of that, by color blasting one, choose one of your great tree vanguards and it gets plus 5k power. Knight of Heavenly Spear Rook skill, when rolled upon by Apex Ruler Bastion, by revealing 3 cards from your hand, you draw a card, and if you have 3 or more grade 3s during your turn, this unit gets boost and plus 5k power. Just these 2 cards alone showcases that the deck revolves around grade 3s, and with the other cards being grade 3s themselves, you can easily fulfill both auto skills. Bastion is where the gimmick shines. During your turn, all of your grade 3s get plus 2k power, and at the end of the battle that your drive track reveals a grade 3, by discarding a card, one of your rearguard stands and it gets plus 10k until the end of the turn. Now let's see who's behind the mask of Bastion. This is definitely a glass cannon style of play. The fact that grade 3s do not have any shield powers means your lack of defenses in the early game is where it's most vulnerable. But as soon as Bastion takes the field, he can immediately regain the ground with 4 high powered attacks if you check a great tree with him. On the opposite end of the spectrum, we got Stoikea's gimmick, which is surprisingly Aqua Force based. Survey Horn Beast Cherish's skill. When rolled upon by Sylvan Horn Beast Lattice, you may reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a great 2 or less unit card, call it to the Rearguard Circle. If not, put it in the soul. From the back row Rearguard Circle, during the battle that this unit attack, this unit gets plus 5k power. Silver Horn Beast Lattice. When rolled upon by Silver Horn Beast King Magnolia, by Soul Plus 1, reveal the top card of your deck. And if it's a unit card, call it the Rearguard Circle. And if it isn't, put it in your hand. Once again, for the back row Rearguard Circle, when it attacks a Vanguard, by Soul Plus 1, this unit gets plus 10k power until the end of the battle. On the Vanguard Circle, at the end of the battle that Magnolia attacked, by Counter Blast 1, choose one of your Rearguards, and until the end of the turn, it can attack from the back row and gets plus 5k power. If you prefer Persona right this turn, choose 3 Rearguards instead of 1. Never would I have expected Magnolia would mix some great nature style of play with the write up while offering an Aqua Force gimmick with its ace. If anything, Vanguard Overdress just became more interesting from the get go with the start decks. And there's one more to go. On top of the deck list's playstyle, it was revealed that they're introducing a new rarity, even though they said they weren't going to do it. But this one makes sense as the new rarity is the over double rare, which is for the over triggers. There's gonna be one over trigger in every box, meaning that it won't take up an important slot for the core cards of the boost for each nation. Over triggers are hype as hell, and they can add a lot of the fun factor to any game of Vanguard. But given that we already have over triggers available in the start deck, and you're only allowed up to one in every deck, the rarity of one per box is actually alright. And we believe that it's good for everybody, competitive or casual. Casual players won't lose out on the fun hype of an over trigger, and getting the nation specific ones is optional for them. While competitive players won't be paying through the nose for something potentially vital to their min-max tournament decks. And with things shaping up 3 weeks from the Japanese release of Vanguard Overdress, we've remained quite hyped over its release coming very soon. So what do you guys think? Are you playing Keter Sanctuary or Stoikea? What do you think of your decks thus far? Leave your comments below. And if you want to be part of the live conversation with us on Overdress, we're on Twitch for Tuesday's live streams and Wednesdays for our discussion streams on YouTube. So be sure to follow us for on Twitch for our gaming streams, slam that like and subscribe button and ring the ding the bell so you get notified of all of our videos when they release here, be it for Battle Spirits or for Vanguard. Be sure to follow us on all of our socials, we're on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and we have a Discord as well where you can find myself, Dempster and Leon on most nights. If you like what we do here and want to support the show directly, you can join our membership where you can be like Wen Hao Law, Daddy Angriato, and Samuel Mackey and have access to our meme emotes and badges during our premieres and live streams. So with that said, thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!